Welcome back, COP 1000 students. Welcome to Module 7, titled The Decision Statement. So far, our code has started at the top and executed statement after statement after statement after statement, and then it would stop. Well, that is now different once we have the decision statement. The decision statement allows our code to start at the top, executing statement, 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 until it hits the fork in the road. Some condition based on whether this condition is true or false, I'm going to go this way or go this way. If I come this direction, I will execute all these statements. If I come this direction, I will execute them. Either this guy or this guy will execute, but never both. To make a, to, an if statement uses a condition. A condition is a statement that equates to true or false. If it doesn't equate to true or false, then it's not a condition. To build a condition, you need these six relational operators, equal to, not equal, less than, greater than, less than, or equal to, greater than, or equal to. And those spaces and these symbols, this is one thing, so is this. And this guy and this guy. So these, oops, these guys right here would be an example of a condition. These down here are not complete and they don't equate to true or false. So true or false conditions, not conditions. Here's a flowchart for a decision statement. Our programs have started with start, then the next step, then the next step, and eventually now here we hit the decision. In a flowchart, the decision take, uh, statement is represented by a triangle, and typically we'll write true, and then the opposite would be false. So we come down in, into here, and we test the uh, value of age. If age is less than 20, then we print you are young. Otherwise, we print you are old. So we're going to go this way if it's true, this way if it's false. Regardless, we're going to hook back up and stop. So the if statement is your primary decision-making tool in any programming language. The if statement has several forms. Here's the most basic. It's if, condition, followed by a colon. If that condition is true, the true part executes. Otherwise, it doesn't execute, but we come to the next statement. Top down, test the condition. If true, do this, then this. Top down, test condition. If false, just go here. What can be in the true part? Anything. As many statements as you want, including other if statements. Just remember, for it to be a part of this if statement, it must be indented evenly. Oh, just so you know, Python does not require these parentheses here, but almost all other programming languages do, so I will be using them in my examples. The next form of the if statement is the optional else. So here, I come in and I say, if the condition is true, if it is, I do the true part, whatever's in here, skip this else, and do the next statement. If the condition is not true, then I skip the true part and come in here and do the false part and then the next statement. Either this or this will fire, never both. Never both. So either I'm going to do the true or the false. Always do this. And then finally, there's something called an if. Uh, not finally, I'm sorry. Here's the FL statement with an example. Income gets 27,888. If the income is less than or equal to 25,000, then print, you need to ask your boss for a raise. Else, I guess you're uh, making enough to get by. And then this guy down here is going to be, is not tied into the truth of this if statement. Either way, you need to get back to work. So this is going to write, you need to ask your boss for a raise. Either way, get back to work. Or, I guess you're making enough to get by, either way, get back to work. Now, here's the last version, which is called the if, else, if. So the last version of the if statement is if, condition, colon, true part, if it's true, do this, and then go all the way out. Here's the else, if, and it is abbreviated in Python, E-L-I-F, that is the actual command. We're going to pronounce that else, if. That enables me to have a second condition and a second true and a false part. If you notice these three arrows, either this is going to happen or this is going to happen or this is going to happen. 
only one. And once they're done, we skip down below. Okay, quick summary. The if statement is the primary decision-making tool in any language. A condition is either true or false. There are six relational operators. Here's the basic if statement. Here's the second form and the third form. In the next video, I'll do some examples.